Hello, Tim from Fair Play now, and I've got a, another video recommendation for you that I'll be sharing in, in a minute. But before I get into that, kind of going back to the weekend event, the Uprise and Shine uh, thing that happened in East Sussex, kind of the general vibe that I got from that and uh, other people were sort of saying the same thing is this whole nonsense that we're in right now can't just can't last too much longer and I've just seen one of Mark Devlin's latest videos uh, that I, li uh, I think he literally just put out yesterday um, or certainly in the last couple of days anyway and he was talking about that event and he was talking about exactly the same thing so it's not just me kind of being optimistic i think that is the general feeling among many people and that's obviously his feeling as well although he was only expressing what uh, you know the vibe that he himself picked up as well from that event so yeah, and I think things are coming to a head now. There's more and more people, uh, you know, whistleblowers coming out and people that up to now have been silent, uh, they are now coming out, uh, sort of doctors, nurses, uh, funeral directors, and um, even sort of people in the police and other emergency services saying that they've had enough of the nonsense and that they are sort of coming over to well basically coming over to our side really and Lorraine was saying that uh, she saw something with a doctor on there uh, I'm not sure if it's a video or a written article but she was saying how this uh, doctor was saying, oh, you know, I think you protesters might have actually been right all along. So this is coming from a fairly mainstream kind of guy who should know what he's talking about. So it, it's all of these things just starting to sort of come in, you know, from one side here, sort of another side there. And, uh, you know, I think it really, really does feel like it's coming to a head. Um, how yeah, the end game will actually sort of transpire, uh, I don't know. It could be extremely messy, as people uh, are suggesting. Some people are suggesting yeah, the powers that shouldn't be might just ramp everything up and sort of uh, come down on us like a ton of bricks, um, or it might just kind of explode and one minute yeah, you know, you will just see what's been kind of occurring for many months and then all of a sudden you know it'll be all kinds of craziness letting loose uh, my my kind of gut feeling is that the whole thing will just kind of melt away and um i don't know what might happen but I think when the powers that shouldn't be uh, kind of realise they can't go any further forward that, with uh, with this thing, they'll just kind of melt away, and you know they'll just start talking about uh, the lurgy and the big V less and less and less, and you know autumn lockdowns just won't happen and you get to the spring next spring or something and uh, it'll be oh i wonder what happened to all that stuff <laughs> and uh in a way yeah that's something that may well happen uh, we might end up just being unsung heroes really you know people out there will just never know the role that we played in kind of uh first of all tackling this thing and then attacking it and bringing it to you know, the justified end that 
you know, many people think is growing near now. Uh, we could also be looking at, and I'm hoping the end is fairly near, but it could of course be many months away still. Uh, it's just impossible to tell, and I wouldn't really like to do any kind of fortune telling on this, but you know, I, th I think the likely scenarios are that there'll just be, you know, a massive truth bomb dropped, like a nuclear, uh, nuclear truth bomb <laughs> dropped, which would just wake everybody up like that, and then, you know, so many of the uh, powers that shouldn't be would just have to just resign. Uh, you know, Johnson and all the rest of them would just be forced to resign, but. Uh, that might be one kind of outcome and it would be nice if it is something like that but probably more likely is they'll just back off and hope that everything kind of then calms down and who knows I'm just conjecturing here but uh, I'll finish this little talk um, by purely saying that I think more and more cracks are appearing in that dam now. Uh, little geysers of water are sort of shooting out here, there and everywhere out of the, uh, uh, the face of the dam. And really, the, what we're up against is a massive edifice which might seem almost impossible to defeat, but we are essentially the guerrillas uh, in this equation, sort of conduct, you know, conducting sort of a guerrilla campaign or tactics, and um, and yeah, that is something that has won wars. And although this is sort of uh, uh, nothing violent about this, this is totally peaceful uh, by all of us doing our part it's just another guerrilla action. So whether that's um, uh, so me making these sort of videos, you sort of uh, just leaving comments here, there and everywhere and sharing videos and comments and articles uh, or doing podcasts or whatever else uh, it is that you are doing, you know, going on um, shopping trips and uh, these other kind of events like this Uprise and Shine thing, or maybe you're kind of organising or just attending um, the sort of many groups which are springing up now, Stand in the Park groups and uh, lots of other ones now. Uh, you know, you're all doing your bit and that is how we're going to defeat this thing. So it's quite uncanny how uh, Mark Devlin was you know, kind of echoing my thoughts and feelings uh, in this video so I'll leave a link to it in the description box and the comment section below for you to watch after this and yeah he was also saying that it is very heartening that there is a lot of uh, people organizing a lot of uh, things and all that really needs to happen is that yeah it all needs to kind of come together into a more cohesive thing but yeah um, I hope that's a bit of a positive message for you and watch Mark's uh, video because it, it's a little bit more positivity as well. And yeah, you know, I think positivity is gonna be one of the uh, things that gets us through this. So I'll leave it there, back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play Now, thanks for watching.